morning vlog. I just woke up and it's 12.18. I'm killing it today. No, I needed rest because I'm getting over being sick. But I'm feeling better today, can you tell? Yeah, I hopefully should get some test results back today or early tomorrow so I can take part of the um, action against the city who tore down the house, this encampment this Monday. So quick, um, brief run through. If you don't know me or anything I'm involved in or anything that's going on in the city of Las Vegas, um, then you'll have no idea that the city, the city decided to come in and destroy an encampment that had been built over the past five months or so since May. Uh, by multiple different mutual aid organizations from feeding to clothing to actually building tiny homes. There was 26 tiny homes built here. They costed about $600 a hut. They were built and funded by the community and with an engineer on the team, no less, okay? And um, the city decided to basically give us the runaround for months. In a nutshell, they helped us enough to make us feel like we were going somewhere. And they did that by um, providing porter potties and sanitation stations by starting to service the dumpsters that were there that were overfilled that were causing the trash to start to go into the wash and things like that and then I believe it was September 16th they completely barricaded the the camp in with cement blocks and, and fences telling the people that they had a week to leave and they needed to remove their belongings but literally left them no way or option to do that by how they barricaded them in which left us and the people who were building the tiny homes, New Leaf Community and Food Not Bombs and the Sidewalk Project having to climb through a hole in a fence um, basically with all the supplies we had to give these people, you know, stuff to make their life easier as they're living unhoused in the middle of a pandemic. Um, and then that's the final nail in the coffin is that the city decided to do this raid an encampment, split up an encampment by claiming sanitation issues um, when it's like a direct violation against the CDC guidelines to break up any type of encampment um, without providing any alternate housing options. So now instead of having um, 26 people in built structures and about 75 people at the camp in total, they all of their their shelter was destroyed and they were pushed onto the streets with absolutely no one location where they can go and, and call theirs. Um, and that's just, that's a health risk for the unhoused community and the housed community. I'm hoping that everything's good with my sickness, I guess, to be able to participate in the protest, fighting back against that action. But yeah. Okay. So, I bought the spaghetti squash to cook. I've never cooked my own spaghetti squash before. Oh my god. I've heard some pretty cool recipes about baking it and turning it into noodles to use for pasta. So I'm gonna find a recipe right now. I'm gonna make this squash. We need to go get some dog food and we are out of dog food and he will not let us forget it. Uh, look at his sweater though. Little man. Yeah, you're cute. Also cute in our sweaters. So yeah, we're gonna figure out what to eat. I also need to make part three of the uh, TikToks that I'm making for Las Vegas Liberation explaining what happened on Monday with the houseless encampment I was just talking about. So it's first Friday and we just moved to a new building in the Arts District that um, has partnered with other local businesses around the Arts District to basically give their residents a gift for every first Friday. We just left and came home uh, from the store and we came home to this on our door. This month we feature a free one month bike share pass from the RTC. And it's a stocking with a water bottle, a magnet, a button, and a sticker. Oh, it's, it's a water bottle sticker. It has to be if it's dishwasher safe, mm -hmm. right? It's pretty cool. Last month we got this which is pretty tasty as you can see in a month we've used half the bottle. Hi. <laughs> I have never cooked one of these before. I don't even recall ever eating one of these before. All my parents kept it pretty basic when it came to vegetables, so all of these things are pretty new. Oh my god, this just fucking broke my foot. Well, I think you missed the coolest part of me opening the melon because I suck at my life. And that includes pressing record on the things I'm trying to record. It was hard. It was really hard. But that's what it looks like on the inside. Now I gotta gut the bitch. Like a pumpkin. 
taken. My god, I end up making this so much more difficult than I needed to. Watching it back, I actually didn't realize how deeply difficult <laughs> I ended up making this whole process, but I did. Um, yeah, uh, you know what? Yeah, it was like right here in my brain when I'm going, wait a minute, is this the stringy stuff that I'm supposed to be eating as noodles? Wait a minute. I don't know if I was supposed to take that out of the melon. And like my visible body language of confusion without even being able to see my face like cracks me up. I think I did this wrong. Well, because it says like clear out the guts, but after I just cleared this out, like I don't know what else there is for me to scrape out of this melon that we would eat. Like I feel like maybe I was just supposed to clear out the seeds when I literally just like Got it. <laughs> Put it on. Isn't that what you're supposed to be for that, right? Yeah, that, all that yellow? That's what we cook, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm but look at this, doesn't this look real stringy? Yeah, but I, I, don't, I don't know how to learn too much the video. Dog. <laughs> okay, alright. I'm rather convinced that I fucked up. That I fucked up. <laughs> but we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with it, you know? What can you do Ooh, when you've gotten this far? Fuck. I'm so uncultured. And so are you. You didn't even help me. I didn't. Wow. Okay. You don't know? You just went and fucking started filming yourself and started cutting it open. Bruh. So I guess I was supposed to only remove the seeds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna put this back in the pumpkin. Sin the seeds, like minus the seeds, no seeds. I don't know, man. Well, my game just crashed on me. I hope you're happy. What did I do that for? I didn't do that. I don't know, maybe it was, maybe it was the shit you were throwing my way. Wow. For no reason. You're giving me a lot of power, no, aren't I'm you? I'm uncultured and it didn't help you. We are both uncultured. Do you know how to cook this? No, See? but I didn't... Know how to cook this, neither did I. That's what I'm saying, I is we neither of us knew how to handle the situation. You watched the, the, all the shit on it. I thought you knew. I looked up a few recipes, yes. I thought that all of this was the brains. It looks like it. I don't want to eat any of that. That's what you throw away with, like, pumpkins and melons and shit. Dog, I'm pretty sure that we cook it and then we go like, I don't know, I don't know, I give up, actually. We're not, we're not doing it tonight, and it's unfortunate. Because how are you going to be able to get the seeds out without taking all that shit out? I don't know, I don't remember it what like it pumpkin. looked like. It does smell like pumpkin. It looks like brains. Oh, kind of cooks the baby squash, and I'll sweat it all we got Brussels sprouts I forgot about. What is this? Oh, these are onions and carrots for the house list. I have Spanish rice. What do you mean you're not tripping on food? Shit, no. Yeah, no, you did it right. What? She just says. So I didn't ruin dinner. I actually did a really great job so far. We're just gonna get all that back out of there. They don't flavor it enough before they cook it? She just said it tastes like shit by itself. I have to steam it? I don't have a pan like that. There's other recipes that don't do that. She said don't put anything on it. That's how she's cooking it. That's just a little sus to me. Steamer that I was gonna steam our veggies in for dinner today. Oh my god. You need pot before the soap smashes rice. I'm cooking dinner. <laughs> no. But I can eat the rice later. I mean the dinner later? No. <laughs> what? There's no way you can finish this sweet rice. I feel like I'm gonna smash it. Don't worry, I'm just gonna finish it. It's like right here in the pot. It's a psycho. <laughs> All right, based on the veggies in my fridge, decided to make like an Asian stir fry using the, the noodles I'm making as the noodles in the stir fry. Got sriracha, teriyaki, Worcestershire, and coconut aminos. Wash your veggies or you're a fucking weirdo, especially in a pandemic, like gross. 
Um, and then we're just going to cook it. And the way that I cook things in my stir fry is I do it in order of aromatic things that need to be cooked first. So for example, like the garlic that was in the pan that you didn't see. And then the things that are going to take the longest to cook through. So I did the garlic and then the onions next, just again, aromatic. And then I did the celery and carrots. And I'm going to let that cook while I cut up the broccoli. And then you throw that in there and then I'm going to cover it in some more sauce and let that steam. Pull out the oven. She's hot. She's steamy. She's cooked. I'm, I'm happy about it. It doesn't really smell like anything. It was a little bit strange, but it was soft and I was able to take my fork and do the stringy thing and make some stringy, stringy little noodles out of it, um, which, which I thought was really cool. It was actually really fun. It was hot, so it was a, it was a struggle, but it was good. Throw some plant-based butter in there and then I literally just plopped them in the pan and then stirred and sauced them, sauced them all together. It was, it was pretty easy and pretty delicious. Now, I'm a loser, and I spent so much time in trying to figure out how to actually make the butternut squash that I completely forgot to record any kind of, like, taste test or review. So this is me in a meeting eating said dinner that we just cooked together, and it was really good. I enjoyed it. Nick really liked it. Um, we both finished it, which was a good sign. I actually prefaced it with the, I don't know how good this is going to be, but... And he was like, what are you talking about? This is delicious. So, success. I uh, just finished the meeting with the group for the action tomorrow. I don't know what's on the floor. Oh, it's all the dog and animal things we bought at the store earlier. Um, so now that I'm done with that, I just basically compiled both part two and three together into one video. And I'm trying to figure out a t like a software that will subtitle it for me so I don't have to go through and resubtitle the whole thing. I'm gonna do some more computy work and charge Nick's AirPods because they be dying. They be dying. The um the subtitle generator website I found is called Clidio. So it is 10.41, I'm officially already to go to bed um, to get up early in the morning. We're meeting up at a park at 7.30 to basically caravan down to the neighborhood where one of the officers lives, the highest ranking officer that shot the most bullets that killed Jorge Gomez. Um, in fact, they told the mother of Jorge Gomez a couple days ago that they were actually not going to follow through with what they said previously which was inviting her to review footage with them this month and they, they uh, went back on that. So we're going to go make a statement and basically continue applying pressure that the community has not forgotten what they did to one of our comrades and they need to release the video so we can hold the policemen accountable for what they did. Where, where I'm at with it is uh, prove us wrong. Prove us wrong. So I'm gonna go to bed now and I will see you bright and early. Try to catch me howling at the moon.